Mm, g'day, Dragic here. And a mate of mine wanted me to make a little demo on how to use custom fonts in your XML UIs in Tabletop Simulator. Now, before I start, just remember that I literally only started using XML UIs like a couple of days ago, so it's very, very rough. But I have here is a simple XML UI. It's attached to an object called demo object, and this is the text here. Very, very simple. It's just, uh, I'll make that bigger. So this is the text. It's very, very simple. We want to change this uh, font into something. We want to change the font to other fonts, okay? So if I come over here, I've got this font here called Maya Remington. I've got this one here called Teutonic. And I've got this one here called Ugly, whatever. That one's too similar. Let's try and find a, I've got another one that's a, what about this one? Okay, so there are three fonts, okay? So how do we get them into Tabletop Simulator? So the first thing you need to do, so this is the API page for Tabletop Simulator. You probably all know this. If you go to uh, the knowledge base, not the UPI for the, with the UI and then come down to custom content and then come down to custom asset bundle. It'll tell you how to basically do what I'm about to say. The first thing you need to do is download and install Unity, but it's very important that it has to be this version of Unity. And then you've got to go to the GitHub and download the current, uh, the current master. Okay, there is a release section, but I've been grabbing it from the master. I just click on code, download a zip. So I've done all that. And if you look in here, I've got a directory. I've just called it default GitHub. So that is just the downloaded zip, okay? So I'm just going to copy that and paste it. And I'm just gonna rename this font tutorial, like so. Now I'm gonna load up Unity. I'm not gonna go into how to uh, install Unity and all that kind of stuff, but basically you just install the Unity Hub and then you go to installs and you just install an editor. You wanna to go to official releases, Make sure you install the Linux, the Mac OS, and the Windows stuff. So when you go install editor, you can go to archive and you go to download archive. Oh, I guess I am showing you how to do it. <laughs> and then you just find the one we want, which is uh, 2019. And it's this one here, okay? So then you just click on Unity Hub and it will install. Whatever, the point is once you have it installed, Okay, you go to projects and you just go add project from disk. We just browse to our projects and font tutorial. I go add project and that's in. Then I just load it up. Now Unity's free, obviously. And I just got these fonts from Duff Font, which is a really cool free font archive. Okay, so it's just gonna load. We'll just let that do its thing. Okay, so we're inside Unity. I'm just gonna shrink this down so I can kind of zoom in on the video and make it easier to see. We've got our assets here and I'm just gonna right click and just gonna create folder. I'm gonna call it fonts. I'm then gonna double click on fonts. I'm gonna go right click, uh, import new asset. I'm going to browse to those uh, fonts that I picked up. I just grab all three and go import and they all come in. Now, when you click on the font, don't click on the little arrow, just click on the font. You'll get this inspector list down here and at the very bottom, there'll be asset labels. So I'm just gonna go new and I'm gonna type in font list underscore demo, all lowercase and press enter. And then I'm gonna click on the next font 
and I'm just going to select the same asset bundle, click on the next font, select the same asset bundle, and then I'm just going to right click on the folder. It doesn't really matter where you right click really, but I'm going to right click and go build asset bundles. And that's that. So now I come into my project folder. There's a new folder called Asset Bundles, and in there is fontlessdemo.unity3d. So that's all well and good. Now let's go into Tabletop Simulator thing. I'm going to go to Modding. I'm going to go to Scripting. I'm going to make sure it's clicked onto UI. And in the UI, you've got UI Global, and then I've got the Custom Board, which is the board underneath, and then the UI Demo Object. That's what we want to apply these fonts to. So you have to make sure you kick that, click that, because basically this, uh, so you can see how it highlights the object. These, w which one you have clicked will determine the scope that that asset is available for, for. So if you add it to the global, you won't be able to use the font on the individual objects as far as I know. There is a way to do that, I'll tell you later at the end. But uh, for this demo, I'll just show you, click on this. So I've clicked on the actual object. I come over here and click the little custom asset bundle thing. I go, boom, I go asset bundle, browse, and I just browse to that project folder. On tutorial, oh, my phone's ringing. Yeah, so just go to Asset Bundles, click on Demo. I don't know whether it works off local. I'm just going to do local and risk it. And I'm going to name this Font Demo. Okay, and go Import. And now that Font Demo is, at, that Asset Bundle is added to this object. So if I click on the global, I click on global and go boom, it's not there. If I click on font demo and go boom, it's there. Okay. And now I'm just going to save this. Now back in a uh, very basic rudimentary XML, I've got, this is a bunch of text. What we want to put here is actually define the font. And the way we do this is we just type in as a new attribute, we're going to call it font equals, and then you just put in the, the attribute here. And the way this works is, is that you put in the name that you named it in Tabletop Simulator. So in Tabletop Simulator, we named it font demo. I don't know whether it's case sensitive, but uh, we're going to do it case sensitive just in case. You put the slash and then you just come down here and use the name of the actual font. Okay. So the font name, let's do uh, Teutonic. I'm just going to go Teutonic like so. And let's just copy this. I'll set this one to my old rem and I'll set this one to Graphica. I've just got to change the position a little. So yeah, so let's just make this like 2000 and I'll just make this minus 2000 just to make it clear. And boom. Oh, make sure there's a space after the after the, the attribute. Okay, bam. And here you go. Now you can see the fonts have been added. And that is pretty much it. Now there is some a little bit of other stuff you can do. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to remove this from it. And this is a weird thing about this. So if I remove this, so I've deleted it. So the asset is no longer in it. And then I save. It actually keeps it for some reason. You have to either switch out 
and reload the whole thing. You could probably actually do it by do, turning off mod caching. No. So what you actually need to do is completely quit out as far as I know. And so, so now the text isn't working because it can't find that, uh, that stuff. So what if I added, uh, so what I can do though, is I can add that entire font file to the UI for global. Now I might be able to find a better way to do this, but this is definitely how I'm doing it at the moment. I'll make that local. Uh, what did I call this? I called it font demo. Let's make that font demo and I go import. Okay. So now that is added to the global UI, not to the actual object UI. Okay. So now if I save this, it doesn't work. But what I can do is use the a way of copying attributes around. And I'll show you how that works quickly. So here is my uh, initial thing, okay? Now I'm just gonna go ID equals demo one. And I'll just uh, copy that. demo three, demo two. So I've just given the, those text blocks an ID. And then if I come into the object itself, I'm just gonna make a function for that. We'll go onload and I'm gonna go local assets equal UI dot get custom assets. And then I'm gonna go self dot UI dot set custom assets and then I'm going to put in assets like that okay so what I've done is I've copied the custom assets which in this case from the global to the object so if I look at my scripting my global asset has the font file and my object as nothing but this little bit of code will copy all those assets in now if you have really complicated asset lists in your global you'll need to write a function that allows you to just get the assets you want or whatever you do I've got one like that so I can just do a quick uh, set set global fonts in the beginning of my object scripts uh, and it just does it for me so you have to do all that yourself but basically now because it will now copy those assets if I build this, you come over and you can see now it's got the, uh, it's got the fonts, even though the actual asset I'm using is only on the, uh, the global. It's only on global. That means I have one asset value in my scripting and everything's just referencing that and that's the best way that I can see to do it and like I said I'm very new to this but that's that's what I'm doing oh well, I hope that was helpful and uh, I'll see you guys next time